Hello guys, welcome to today's lecture. Uh, today I'm just going to start the practical part. So guys, uh, let's just make uh, just let's just open a location. For example, I'm just going to open the documents, and here I'm just going to make a new folder for my website. New folder. I'm just going to name it as Toronto Toronto education Toronto education and inside that uh, I'm just going to make a folder for I'm sorry for a file you can op you can make the file through any mm, <coughs> editors you can make the file through notepad notepad plus plus because for using for making a website you need nothing no any compilers no any other things only a editor to write your code to write your html tags uh, css tags those things you just need to uh, have an editor nothing else you only need uh, notepad plus plus or you can easily use notepad so let's just make a yeah, text document here let's just put the name as uh, for example let's just put the name as uh, index index dot html don't forget to write html sorry here i have uh, i just put dot dot html but it is actually type text document uh, because uh, the extension is hide hidden so i just need to uh, i just need to unhide that so i'm going to go to the options and view and uh, sh hide extension for arnold file let's just uncheck it and it's going to yeah here see the extension is dot txt i'm just going to change it to dot html so it should be changed to the browser just like uh, Google Chrome, Internet Explorer, and these things. So uh, now I just want to edit this. Let's edit this. Edit what? What? Uh, you can edit it with anything using your Notepad. You using Notepad plus plus. Using uh, uh, any other. Just uh, you can find out. Uh, actually, I have. Uh, Atom, I use it to edit the code parts. So, guys, let me just find it. Uh, let's open it with uh, just another app. Let me find the app Atom. If it was, yeah, I have Atom here. You can also use Notepad. If you do not use Atom, you can use Notepad, any of them. Uh, Atom is actually, it's more easily you can for example when you are using a hd uh, use you when you have the file saved as dot html then you just write it as html then it will give you all the tags which are needed for your for your website so so this is index html we have nothing here I'm just going to write as HTML, nothing else. See, it gives me a HTML here. If I click it, if it will give me all the tags which are needed in every HTML web page. For example, here we have the doc type HTML, which is going to say to the user that this is the HTML5. We have HTML tag. We have uh, head tag we have title we have uh, in uh, head end tag we have body tag we have in body tag we have everything if you are not going to use this one you can also write yourself if you use notepad or notepad plus plus you need to write it by yourself so so just pay attention if you forget any of the tag then you can use it very easily through atom but for those who are beginner, they need to use Notepad or Notepad++. 
so guys first we are going to say that we are going to use the HTML5 which is a version then we have the HTML HTML tag then HTML in tag uh, so inside HTML we have head and also we have body Yeah, so this is our head and we have body part. So I said inside the head you can uh, write your title here. If you write anything inside the head, I'm just going to type something by mistake. This is mistakenly typed and I'm going to save it. Control is this is saved if I minimize it and open it through Google Chrome let me just open it by Google Chrome see it only gives me that part which I have written mistakenly it means uh, if you write anything it will be displayed even in the head part even in the body part they are going to be displayed but how if how about if I uh, <clears throat> if I just uh, put it inside a tag that will also be displayed but we need to make them a little bit more clear for example we are going to say this is my title it should be displayed on the uh, on the head head part or where you're for example for example you're going to use google.com if you open google.com it will show google if you open facebook.com it will be shown as facebook so i'll just give it a title title for example here i say this is uh, this is my title this should be displayed this is my title and inside the body I'm just going to have a heading it's one so here I'm just going to write it as uh, round two education this is going to be displayed as a heading and yeah, let's just have a paragraph also paragraph in paragraph this is uh, round two education and this is uh, web designing web designing tutorial video so this is going to be displayed let's just save it control s and let's open it to your room open with room so uh, oh, uh, you can see the title. Let me just uh, um, let me make the size a little bit. Uh, so let's just change the size. Um, let's move it. Oh, uh, what the hell? yeah, this is my title. This is actually the title part. And uh, this is our Brown to Education that we have written this. This was our heading. And this is Brown to Education. This is a web designing tutorial video. This is our, yeah, this was the previous one. Which we had, if I refresh that, this, uh, this will also be changed. So, so guys, uh, this was, oh, I think I have opened this before. So, so guys. There was a mistake yeah here see i have two tags so it means one of them will be used as the title uh, this is for uh, less than that was the mistake we have made so it was displayed in the uh, in our website so let's just remove it so guys title head is used uh, title tag is used inside the head tag and this is used to give a title name to your web page 
and uh, inside the body we are going to have h1 uh, heading you can also use h2 h3 h4 h5 h6 these things so they are also headings but they are uh, a little bit smaller in size so i'm say brown to education the same thing but with a smaller one smaller size if i use h3 h4 h5 see so this one is the h3 part this one is the h4 part this one is the h5 part and this one is the h6 part let's see what happens after running this h3 h4 h5 and h6 oh i made a mistake here in every yeah so guys let's see what's going to happen again just save it and then open it if you have it open then just refresh it open with room yeah brown to education the first one is the heading number one and the second is heading number two heading number three and number four five six these are headings but it's going to be in smaller size so it was the heading and paragraph text you can just uh, so let's go through the uh, after paragraph let me just make a link but first i have to have another another web page so let me just uh, open another uh, another page but we are going to make another page and we are going to make it uh, the name as a home so let's just first save it as a html so let's name it as home.html home.html now let's just write html and this is going to give me all the parts and the title should be home and the body is uh, a heading it's a head one and we are going to write it as mm, this is home page just show me this one and save in index if we uh, have a link a hyperlink i'm just going to say a Oops. again i open to and in href i'm just going to say that open home.html do we have a home.html yeah we have so let's just uh, oh there should be a text which text should be clicked to open home.html i'm just going to say home home web page just click on this and it will go to home page so let's save it and let's open it in the browser yeah we have opened this in the browser yeah this is our index see here we have a home web page if i click this it will take me to the home page this is actually a hyperlink you can go to another website also just by using the link for example facebook someone is uh, giving an image and that is a hyperlink actually when someone clicks for example facebook logo image when you open uh, when you click on this it will take you to the uh, facebook page of that website so guys this was today's lecture mm, i hope you enjoyed so just subscribe our channel and uh, share it to your friends share it with your friends and see you in the next lecture